Middle Ages to the Middle East, from Futura to Fright, join us on a journey across the type universe and go where no designer has ever gone before. Welcome to an incomplete history of type. Hi, I'm Shelby, a graphic designer and type nerd from Toronto, Ontario. Today, we will be investigating one of my favorite typefaces, Bodoni. Name, Bodoni. Release date, 1798. Designer, Giambattista Bodoni. Classification, Modern Serif Script. Owned by Linotype. Claim to fame, one of the older typefaces still in use as a font today. Bodoni, a modern typeface from the 1700s. Known for its high and abrupt contrast between thin and thick strokes, the unbracketed hairline serifs, and its small aperture. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's delve a bit into the history of this infamous typeface. Bodoni got its start in the late 18th century, and it was named after its creator, Giambattista Bodoni. He was an expert publisher, compositor, and printer who ran a printing office under the Duke of Parma in Italy. However, Bodoni was a prolific type designer, completing hundreds and hundreds of typefaces. The Bodoni Museum in Parma, Italy now houses over 25,000 of his typefaces. Having been inspired by the works of John Baskerville, Pierre Simon, and Fermin Dido, Giambattista Bodoni sought to create a contemporary precursor to the similar fonts of the time by leaning into the precise mathematical qualities of typeface creation rather than looking back to script-inspired fonts. The style of Bodoni can be characterized by a slightly condensed underlying structure with flat, unbracketed serifs, extreme contrast between thick and thin strokes, and an overall geometric construction. It also has a vertical axis and a horizontal stress. Overall, it is a modern style of typeface. It has a classic and fashionable feel to it. Classic because of the traditional serif Roman letter form, and fashionable because of the geometric and light feel from the contrast. Bodoni is one of those typefaces that never gets old. It is elegant yet sophisticated in appearance. While the Bodoni typeface was an instant success with the recipients of printed type, many speculate that the reason for its widespread popularity was due to the reputation of Giambattista Bodoni as a printer as Dito was an equally as technical modern font that had been created almost 30 years prior. The font had repeatedly been described as difficult to read, especially in smaller font sizes. However, it was originally created to be visually impressive, rather than readable or practical to the viewer. Bodoni has since been revised multiple times and will forever be associated with the hordes of digital interpretations from just about every type foundry on this earth. I mean, the font book devotes some 14 pages to flavors of Bodoni. Some are faithful digital renderings, others well-crafted interpretations, while others are nothing but just parodies. The Bodoni typeface has been used for a wide variety of different materials, in the 18th century, it was used in Italian books, then later in the 1960s, newspapers and magazines. The early versions of Bodoni were even used in fine book printing. Today, we see Bodoni dominate the advertising and fashion entertainment space. Lady Gaga and Nirvana have used it in album covers, while Vogue and Elle use it for their headings on every single magazine cover. It also has been used on all the Mamma Mia movie posters. Bodoni will always be associated with the timeless elegance of Italian printing, but its modernity has allowed its life to extend into the 21st century. Before we wrap up today's journey, here's a quick tip on how to design using Bodoni. 
Modern typefaces, such as Bodoni, need lots of white space, so consider giving them extra leading and generous margins. Also, if you pair a modern typeface with another one, then make sure it's not fussy, or your page will look questionable. Thank you everyone so much for listening. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite typeface is and why. See you next time. Thank you.